Hello, my name is Carol Christensen. I'm the Warning Coordination Meteorologist at the National Weather Service Office in Duluth, Minnesota. Have you heard the term wall cloud and wondered what the heck it was? Well, this little tutorial will give you an idea of what is a wall cloud. A wall cloud is a lowering of, at least it looks like a lowering of, of the thunderstorm base. And it's very and a wall cloud is very important because most times it's the first sign that a tornado may form. And let me go into more detail with that. But first of all, this low hanging cloud right here, that is a wall cloud. So here's a schematic of a supercell thunderstorm. A supercell thunderstorm is a special thunderstorm in that it has an extremely strong updraft or rising air right here that is rotating. And it's rotating because there is wind shear in the environment. Wind shear occurs when the winds are increasing with height and turning with height. And that causes these intense updrafts or rising air to rotate. And that can lead to tornadic formation. So here we have a big supercell thunderstorm. And here is the updraft area. The updraft area is also called the rain-free base because it's not raining in the rain-free base. It's not raining in the rain-free base because of this strong updraft is pushing moisture higher and higher up into the atmosphere. Now downwind of the updraft is where we have the downdraft. And the downdraft is the area where it's raining or there could be some hail coming down also. And the downdraft occurs because of the precipitation coming down through the cloud. And the downdraft is this cool rush of air coming down from the cold areas of the thunderstorm. So the downdraft is very cold and wet. And when it hits the ground, it can hit the ground with a big old splat, and it could cause some damage. And that's called the downburst. But we'll talk about that some other in some other tutorial. But, but what I want to talk about is this wall cloud. So this wall cloud is in the rain-free base, or the updraft area. It's kind of close to the rain area. We can tell this is the rain area because it's dark. And what's going on is that this updraft is like a big vacuum cleaner, and it just sucks everything up around it, up into the updraft. And some of this precipitation gets sucked back up into the updraft. Well, this air that has this precipitation in it is super saturated. So as it's pulled upward into the updraft, it condenses quite rapidly. It doesn't take much lift to condense and form a cloud. And that's how the wall cloud forms. So the, 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 the wall cloud is actually forming on the base of the rain-free base. And again, not all wall clouds rotate, but if this wall cloud is rotating, it has the potential to produce a tornado. And things that you need to watch out for, for wall clouds. A wall cloud that may produce a tornado is persistent. Many times in this rain-free base area, you're going to see lots of cloud fragments. We call that scud. These cloud fragments will not last very long because they'll get sucked up into the updraft. But if it is a wall cloud, it will last a long time. By tens of minutes is what I mean by long time. So they are persistent. And if it is possible to form a tornado, you will see rotation. It won't be super fast rotation. You'll have to watch it for some time before you can see the rotation and you will definitely see rising motion in the vicinity of that wall cloud and it's that rising motion that's feeding the moisture and heat into this thunderstorm and producing the wall cloud so persistence rotation and rising motion all need to be there in order to even have the possibility of a tornado to form fortunately even rotating wall clouds uh, have a small chance of producing a tornado. But rotating wall clouds are many times our first indication 
that there could be a tornado. And National Weather Service warning forecasters use spotter information of rotating wall clouds to help make warning decisions. Because our goal is to let people know a tornado may form or may come into their area before it develops to give people time to seek safety. So the, the big thing about wall clouds, even though a small percentage of them produce tornadoes, the thing to remember is that they all form in supercell thunderstorms. So these are still very dangerous storms. There's going to be lots of lightning, some possibly some hail, and very high winds. And I forgot to add there, torrential downpours. So there's still very much uh, a lot of danger with regard to these supercell thunderstorms. So take cover. Go to a sturdy shelter. And remember, when thunder roars, go indoors. Thank you for watching.